Loomis. Okay, so it is currently 12.57 in the morning. Yes, I use a 24-hour clock. And I just finished reading Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Now, as much as I would like to wait and record this when I have makeup on, I don't have my Bellagio hair with the scrunchie or a top that I have fit into since I was 11 years old. Um, this cannot wait until tomorrow for me to record this book review because... <sighs> Jumping Dumbledore. J.K. Rowling has offered refuge to so many people through the magical world of Harry Potter. And this beautiful play that she co-wrote with its refuge all over again. Now I'm crying too. You're welcome. But what uh, Queen Rowling and John Tiffany and Jack Thorne created in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child it's brilliant. I mean, there was part of it when this initial kind of plot twist, if you will, about um, something involving Voldemort was brought to light. Um, very soon uh, you realize that who they were suspecting this rumor revolved around was definitely not the person. And you also, equally as quickly in my opinion, could figure out who, what, who it really was. Um, but all the twists and turns in this play, I didn't expect any of them. There were two scenes in part two that had me weeping. Some of these characters are characters we've known and loved for years. Some of them are new. But I, I don't... It was really emotional reading this. And this book this play, if you can go see it based off the script, it's a must. I wish I could go to London to see it. I really hope, I really hope they record the play so they, and sell it on DVD or something so we can watch it or they turn this play into a film. And you know, the butterfly effect was so evident in this, this, and I just, I can't get over some of the twists and turns and some of my beloved characters come back from the dead and it's just to see our favorite characters as they are in the future from when we left them in that moment where we left them to even beyond that is spectacular and to see how some of the kids turned out and what happens and how even all these years later, after 20 years of peace, Voldemort still ends up crawling out of the word work and becoming an issue. It, it's fabulous. You must go read it. There's no debate. You have to. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this is a must. I am here telling you with my Bellagio ponytail hairstyle, full with my neon scrunchie, my... how many... okay, we'll just say over 10 year old shirt, um, and no makeup face, is telling you, you must read this. You must, you must, you must, you must, you must. And the cover art, right there, takes on a whole new meaning once you read the story. To Joe Rowling, I'm gonna cry again, but I need to thank you. You've got me through some really hard times. And recently some of those times have increased and worsened. Again, this helped me get through like the other stories did. <laughs> you offered me refuge and a place to escape, a safe place to go. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Rowling.
happy reading. <laughs>